Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert Wix website to HTML. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So how do we actually convert our Wix website into HTML? Well, this one can be kind of complicated because Wix by, uh, by default does not provide you a way to basically download your HTML here because Wix actually contains a lot of JavaScript, meaning that their sources or their files or their design is actually dependent on the Wix website itself. So if you're going to download your website from Wix as a standalone HTML, this can be proven really, really hard because again, some some of the designs or most of the designs that they have in here is actually dependent on the Wix servers themselves. But uh, in just in case you want to basically just copy the uh, uh, format, the framing or how your website actually looks like, well, this one can be something really helpful because you could actually do this on any browser that you have. Now in this case, what we need to do first is we need to go to Wix.com, log in into our account, and access the website that you want to basically download the HTML for. So what we need to do here is I already have a website here. So let's go ahead and click on select and edit side here. And that should open up the dashboard section or our manage page here. Now, what we need to do next is we need to go to our edit site at the top right here and actually open up your editor. So in this case, this might take a few uh, seconds or a few uh, while here before it actually loads up. So let's just wait for it and that should be able to load itself up. So in this case, let's just wait for it. Now, in this case, once it's actually loaded up, what we need to do next is we need to access the actual website or our actual website for Wix. Now, at the top right, you should see the publish section. Just hover over it and choose the option that says view site. And that should open up your site here. So what we need to do here is we want to start downloading our website. So what we need to do here is we just need to basically right click on your website here and you could go ahead and basically choose the option here that says save as. So if you don't see it in here, uh, just right click on another section here until you see it. So let's just choose save as here. And once you've done that, it should actually pop up this section here. So in this case, it's going to say the following file names here dot HTML. So the save type is going to be HTM or dot HTML here. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on save here. And it's going to start the download process. Now, the download itself might be kind of long depending on how you actually set up your website. Again, I just give you, I just have to give you warning. Some of the features uh, or all of the features or most of the features that I have on Wix websites is going to be dependent on the Wix server. So meaning some of the elements or some of the contents that you have here or that you have on your website may be missing if you actually download the HTML file. Now in this case, what we need to do is we need to locate where we actually downloaded our file. As you can see, I actually have two files that we have here. So I'm just going to remove some of the files that is not related. As you can see, we both have a folder section here as well an HTML file here. So when you visit the folder uh, section here, this will actually contain the images and some of the assets for your website. So that includes the CSS file here and some of the JavaScript that we have here and a lot more. Now, it's very important that you don't erase this specific folder here because this HTML file here is actually referencing this folder here to retrieve some information on it. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to open this up so you could go ahead and just double click on it again and that should open up your website here. Again, like what I've told you before, some of the elements that you got or you have on your website might not be present in this section here. But in this case, since you already have the HTML file, you can go ahead and just do the appropriate ways for you to start editing your HTML. Now, in this case, like for example, if you don't know or you don't have an IDE yet, you can actually edit your website here via your notepad. So if you click on open with, choose notepad here, again, you should be able to see the HTML code in here. But if you have a specific IDE, like for example, if you have Sublime, which is a great tool for uh, editing websites or any other IDE that you want to use, you can basically start using it. 
Now, in this case, there is a great way for you to get your wireframe here or just basically view your uh, code here for your project in Wix. Now, another thing that you could actually do here for your website is to uh, basically just right click. Like, for example, you just want to view the HTML files for your website. So, what we need to do is you click on it and you just need to click on inspect. And from here, you should be able to see the elements, which is the HTML here. So the console on what is actually happening in here. Now, if you want to view your CSS, it's going to be at the right side here, which is the style section. So yeah, so if you want to reference something or view some uh, certain aspects at your website, just uh, choosing the inspect option here can be a great thing. But again, like what I've shown you, you could actually download it. But again, I just have to warn you, especially if you're using a type of uh, tools or plugins into your Wix website here, they might not appear on the downloaded HTML file. But yeah, so that's how you actually convert your Wix, Wix website here to HTML. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.